Hello, today we're going to go over the Circuit Playground Express Board and we're going to look specifically at the accelerometer sensor. It's a sensor in the middle of the board that has this XYZ right here and we're going to code it using Adafruit and Microsoft's MakeCode. So there are three different things we can do with an accelerometer. We can trigger an event, which is this pink block right here. We can read in the acceleration as a variable right there or we can set a threshold for our acceleration up here. So this program on start is this green block. So when we start up our circuit playground, it's going to set a threshold range for our accelerometer. And we can have 1G, 2G, 4G, or 8G that we're setting as our threshold value. Then we're going to go down here, and forever the program is going to loop through here and just do this one step that we have in here. It's going to graph values, and the values are the ones we're reading off the accelerometer. We have four options for our values. We have X, Y, Z, and strength. Strength is when we sum these up and create a vector from them. But right now, we'll just look at X. This is our virtual circuit playground over here, so we can see what the code's going to do. And when we're moving back and forth in the X direction, you can see as we increase the strength, the lights go around this way. This is what our loop's going to do forever until we trigger an event. And there are lots of events we can trigger. Each one of these over here on the side are different ones. So we can shake, we can tilt up, tilt down, left, right, face up, face down, have it in free fall, or if it reaches three, six, or eight Gs, it's going to trigger an event. And since we have lights on for this graph over here, I pick to play tones for each of these different events. And when you see a video in a second of all of these different motions that we're going to do, sometimes I'll play the same thing again. So if I tilt up and then it's going to go back to just regular face up, it will play this tone again. So this one gets played a lot in the example that we're going to show. So you can pick any of these that you want. It's pre-programmed as to what acceleration it thinks is shake, tilting up, down, face down, all those, which is really awesome. And then I just picked a different sound for each of them so we could tell in which direction it was going. The other thing that you can do is we could use rotation. And I don't have this in the video example, but you could use pitch, which is this direction, and roll, which would be this direction over here. And as it rotates in different degrees, we could graph with light there too, so it would read in rotation. But for the example we have in the next part of the video, I'm just using the acceleration in the x direction. So those are all the different things you can do with the code inside of MakeCode. You can see the graph shift as we go back and forth in the x direction, and it's 1023 because we have a 10-bit analog to digital converter that we're using. So we can simulate this graph over here, which is pretty cool. And the other thing we can do is, if we go back to blocks, we can toggle this, and we can go to JavaScript. And we can see what this would look like if we wrote it in JavaScript. All these functions up here are all events, and this is our forever loop. So on the event of starting, we're going to set our accelerometer range to 4G. And then for forever, we're going to go through this function, and we're going to graph the light using the x directions acceleration. And then all of these up here are other inputs that we said that would trigger events. So on a certain gesture, what are we going to do? Which gesture? This one's shake, tilt down, tilt up, and then inside of each of these are the functions. And we said what kind of musical sound that we want to play. So that's what it would look like in Java code, but we can just work with blocks. I want to show you what this example looks like in real life, and I'll go through what each of these tones sounds like. So I'm moving back and forth in the x direction. Tilt it. Tilt the other way. Shake. 